What is up everybody, Random Random Man here, bringing you my first video of 2016, and it is not for a movie review. No, as you read by the title, I'm going to be reacting to the Oscar nominations for this year. Now, in the past I have done some Oscar coverage for the past two years in a row. I put out a video showcasing my predictions and preferences for who I think will and should win Oscars for those previous years. But this year I thought it would be different and kind of fun to actually show myself reacting to the nominations as they are being announced. In terms of what I would like to see get nominations, I would love to see Mad Max Fury Road not only get the technical awards it's deserving of, but Best Director and Best Picture nods. It was my favorite movie of 2015, so I'm really pulling through for that. Same thing with The Revenant. I think the Best Picture and Best Director categories are a lock. Same with the technical categories, but especially Best Actor for Leonardo DiCaprio. He, this is his year, I believe, for Room. Brie Larson for sure is going to get nominated for Room, and I think she's a front runner to win. Same with Jacob Tremblay for his portrayal as Brie Larson's character's son. He was truly outstanding. I hope he gets nominated. Um, Ex Machina, yes, that movie. I hope it gets Best Supporting Actress for Alicia Vikander. She was the breakout star of that film. Maybe Best Visual Effects, Best Original Screenplay. Inside Out is a lock for Best Animated Feature. We also have The Martian. That should get nominations. Uh, Star Wars The Force Awakens will get technical merits for sure. Creed, Best Supporting Actor for Sylvester Stallone. I believe it's time for him to get recognized for that iconic role. Sicario, maybe it'll pick up steam here with Best Original Score, Best Cinematography, stuff like that. Straight Outta Compton, I hope, gets some love because I think it's a standout film. Even though it wasn't necessarily at the top of my list, it still is a fantastic movie. Also, I will not be covering certain categories like Best Documentary Feature and Best Foreign Language Film because, frankly, I haven't seen any movies like that in the past year, and that's mainly my fault. I really can't say that I have, but I hope to change that somewhat in the future or maybe even soon. So, without further ado, I have nothing else to say, but let's get started. Huh. Okay. Manta Ray from Racing Extinction. Hmm. Never heard of that. Simple Song Number Three from You. Okay. Till It Happens to You from The Hunting Ground. Lady and Gaga. Wow. Writings on the Wall from Spectre. Ah, uh, I really didn't like that song to be honest. Even though I like Spectre. For achievement in cinematography, the nominees are. Ooh, big category. Carol. Okay. Still need to see that. Uh, still need to see that. <laughs> Mad Max, yes! The Revenant. Yes. All right. Sicario. Nice! Wow. Pretty good so far. For achievement in costume design, the nominees are Carol. Nice. Okay. Still need to see that. <laughs> Cinderella. Oh, wow. Nice. The Danish Girl. Still need to see that. Mad Max Fury Road. Wow. That's awesome. And what? Yes! <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> For achievement in sound editing, the nominees are Mad Max, Fury Road. Wow, nice! The Martian. Very good. The Revenant. Yes! Sicario. Uh huh, mm hmm. And Star Wars. Yes, of course. I'm liking some of these technical categories so far. Achievement in sound mixing, the nominees are sound mixing. Bridge of Spies. Still need to see that. Mad Max Fury Road. Wow. The Martian. All right. The Revenant. Mm-hmm. Yes. And Star Wars: The Force Awakens. Of course. Wow. <laughs> Mad Max is really pulling in there for the technical categories. Makeup and hairstyling. Makeup and hairstyling. Here we go. Wow! That is awesome. One hundred year old man who climbed out a window and disappeared. Huh, never heard of that. And the revenant. Wow. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. For best animated feature film, the nominees are Inside Out? Anomalisa. Oh, I expected that. Haven't seen it. Boy and the World. Hmm, never heard of that. Inside Out? Yes. Gonna win. Shaun the Sheep movie? 
Wow! Still need to see that. And when Marley was there. Oh, wow. Wow, that's very nice. I haven't seen it, but I love Studio Ghibli. Congratulations. Stay tuned for the second part of our announcement with Academy President Cheryl Boone Isaacs and John Krasinski. Thank you. Here we go. Last Welcome. part of the nominations. What an exciting morning. Thank you, Guillermo and Aang, for kicking it off. John, let's continue. All right. For performance by an actor in a supporting role, the nominees are Christian Bale in The Big Short. Wow! Still need to see that. Hardy in The Revenant. Wow! Yes! That's awesome! Ruffalo in Spotlight. Okay. Still need to see that. In Bridge of Spies. Still need to see that. Yes! For performance by an actress in a supporting role, the nominees are Jennifer Jason Lee, The Hateful Eight. Still need to see that. And she was good. Ooh, Rooney Mara supporting. Still need to see that. Whoa! Kate Winslet and Steve Jobs. For the Danish girl and not for Ex Machina. Interesting. For achievement and visual effects, the nominees are Ex Machina. Yes! Mad Max Fury Road. Of course. <laughs> the Martian. Mm hmm. Very good. The Revenant. Yes. And Star Wars The Force Awakens. All expected. Wow. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so you see that. Woo, yeah, a lot of nominations. The Revenant, nice. Still need to see that. And Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Wow, Star Wars is really pulling in it in there. I'm I'm glad. For achievement and production design, the nominees are Ooh. Bridge of Spies. Hmm, that looks nice. The Danish Girl. It's a period piece, very good. Mad Max Fury Road. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Yes, uh-huh. And The Revenant. L lots of nominations for Mad Max and The Revenant. For adapted screenplay, the nominees are Charles Randolph and Adam McKay for The Big Short. Wow. Nick Hornby for Brooklyn. Ooh. Phyllis Nage for Carol. Drew Goddard for The Martian. All right, very good. And Emma Donahue for Room. Ah, oh, that is truly tremendous. <laughs> Never even read the book, though. Wow, the Cohen brothers. Very Alex good. Garland for Ex Machina. Yes! Pete Doctor, Meg LeBeau, Ooh. Josh Cooley, and Ronnie Del Carmen for Inside Out. Nice! An animated John movie. John Singer and Tom McCarthy for Spotlight. Okay. And Jonathan Herman, Andrea Burlock, and Lee Savage, and Alan Wankus for Straight Outta Compton. Awesome! For original score, the nominees are Heard that was good. Carter Burwell for Carol. Same thing. Ennio Morricone. All right. Yes. Legend. Johan Johansson. Yes. And Great John score. Williams for Star Wars: The Force Awakens. John Williams got in there. Really nice. For achievement in directing. Oh, best director. Adam McKay for The Big Short. Wow. Still need to see that. For Mad Max. Yes. George Miller. Yes, expected. Very, very nice. Woo! Abrahamson for Room. Wow! And Tom McCarthy for Spotlight. Wow! These are surprises. For a performance by an actress in a leading role, the nominees are... Here we go. Kate Blanchett in Carol. Okay, expected that. Brie Larson. Yes! Jennifer Lawrence. Wow! Charlotte Rampling in 45 years. Hmm, expected that. And Saoirse Ronan in Brooklyn. Wow, I'm surprised j -Lo was nominated. Hmm. For performance cool. by an actor in a leading role, the nominees are... Leo DiCaprio. Brian Cranston in Trumbo. Ooh, let me Matt see that. Damon in The Martian. Expected that, Leonardo nice. Leonardo DiCaprio in The Revenant. Yes, of course. Michael Fassbender in Steve Jobs. Hmm, heard he was great. And Eddie Redmayne in The Danish Girl. Also expected that. <laughs> Ugh. They are The Big Short, Brad Pitt, mm. Dee Dee Gardner, and Jeremy. Guess Clark. I gotta see that. Bridge of Spies, Steven Spielberg. 
Because I still have to see that also. <laughs> I've missed a lot of movies. Wow. Okay. Same thing. Yes! Awesome! That's so cool. The Martian? Yes, that, that that's sweet too. Uh, terrific. Mary Parent and Keith Redmond producers. Room. Yeah. Producer. My top three got nominations. And wow. Spotlight. Michael Schumer, Ooh. Steve Golan, Nicole Ryan, and Spotlight. Wow. Still need to see that too. Wait, how many were there? Only eight Best Picture nominations. Sunday night, February 28th, to celebrate these incredible artists and films at the Oscars with our host, Chris Rock. Can't wait to see him host. All right, so I have since looked up the full list of nominees so I can go over what I thought were some surprises and snubs. Best Picture, like I just said, only eight nominations again this year, just like last year. Uh, I heard, like, the way best picture movies get nominated it's like certain amount of votes so i guess only eight this year got enough votes to warrant nominations but my three favorite movies of the year mad max fury road the revenant and room all got best picture nominations just like last year with my three favorites of 2014. same with best director i'm really pulling through for george miller i hope he takes it lenny Abra abrahamson for room is a nice surprise in great Best Actor, of course, Leonardo DiCaprio and a bunch of others got nominated. Best Actress, Brie Larson's going to take it. I'm surprised with Jennifer Lawrence. J-Law, I, I adore her um, as an actress, and I thought she was very good in Joy. Not her best performance, but mm, she just recently won the Golden Globe with Brie Larson. So, mm, I guess that's the only nomination this film has gotten. Best Supporting Actor, Tom Hardy for The Revenant. That's great. A bunch of other people. Sylvester Stallone for Creed. Best Supporting Actress. Now... Alicia Vikander did get nominated, but for The Danish Girl, not for Ex Machina. I can't say anything about her performance in The Danish Girl because I haven't seen it, but I'm surprised. A lot of people were pulling through for her to get uh, the nod for Ex Machina. Best Original Screenplay, Ex Machina made it in there, Inside Out, Straight Outta Compton. That was a big surprise. I actually got an Oscar nomination. That's really, really nice. I even... Had some doubt in my mind that it wouldn't get anything bigger than that because I wanted some acting categories, but that's really nice. It's now labeled as an Academy Award nominated film, so that's pretty good. Adapted screenplay, uh, Room and the Martian made it, but I a snub I would say that, you know, not on my part, but from other people's parts, is Steve Jobs. Apparently Aaron Sorkin's adapted screenplay is very good. Haven't seen Steve Jobs either. I, I need to catch up on a lot of these movies anyway, so... Mm. I hope to see, like, you know, what was snubbed or not snubbed later on. Best Animated Feature Film, Inside Out, of course, uh, Anna Melissa, uh, Foreign Language Film, Documentary, that stuff I'm not covering. Uh, original score, Johan Johansson for Sicario. That's really nice because I predicted that and cinematography would be some of the only nominations Sicario got. Star Wars made it in there. Star Wars got actually a lot of nominations. It has technical categories. So that shows that, you know, we love Star Wars still and definitely with all the glimmering visual effects that they are definitely worthwhile and just one reason we love these films so much. Technical, technical, technical. Mad Max and The Revenant dominated these categories. Star Wars did as well. And the films that received the, multi the most are multiple nominations. At 12, The Revenant received the most nominations. That is very awesome. Mad Max Fury Road is trailing behind it with 10, The Martian was 7, Bridge of Spies was 6, The Big Short in Star Wars The Force Awakens with 5, Room with 4, and Brooklyn with 3. Some of these movies I still need to see, but overall, I'm not actually disappointed. I'm actually really surprised with a lot of these nominations. Sure, some of the acting categories I could have asked for more people to be nominated, or rather others, but I... I'm really excited for the Oscars uh, come February because even though like, you know, these award shows are biased, a lot of them really are just people just choosing what they like in film rather than like what should be deserving of. 
it's just great to see some of these films, especially my favorites of the year and other people's favorites of the year, get recognized. So I will definitely be putting my Oscars predictions and preferences video once the Oscars come closer. This video is, of course, going up. And I may or may not review, review the actual Oscars. Uh, I, I'll probably clarify once the Oscars come closer if I'm actually going to do that. But I'm just really excited to see these films get nominated. So... Thank you all, as always, for watching. Be sure to like this video, comment your reactions to the nominations for the 88th Academy Awards, subscribe to my channel for more, and I'll catch you on the next movie review.